Brick Maniacs, welcome back to another Thursday sit rep. We got a little something for everyone coming up on the Friday release, but this is a little extra special. This is the Brick Mania Brick Arms wall down here in customer service. And the reason I'm standing in front of it is because we are running a gift with purchase all weekend long, which will include 15 randomly selected brick arms, one of which is going to be a uh, custom hand injected one as well. Uh, so you'll get a little variety pack. I think we're calling it the, the random value pack or something like that. And that's for all online orders over a hundred bucks. So that runs all the way through Monday place an order, it'll just automatically show up in your cart and hey, you get yourself 15 awesome brick arms to go with whatever else you uh, ordered from Brick Mania. So that's all for me. Um, I'll turn it on over to uh, Brennan and Slam. Brick Maniacs, welcome back to another Thursday sit rep, Brick Mania TV. I'm Slam, I'm here with Brennan today. And Brennan, what do we have in front of us? We've got an F8 Crusader. Been a while coming. Uh, this was submitted to us by uh, Gonzalo Lieberman. You may know him as Pappy Boyington on uh, Instagram. Guest designer. Ooh. Guest designer. Um, the colors aren't all right. This thing is mostly light gray, white, and black on the on the stand down here. So it's not all this Technicolor stuff. This Looks more like I built it in my out of my collection than the Brickmania collection. But our our design room is a little lacking right now. Uh, with the, Dan taking everything to Florida, yeah, which yeah, I mean is fine. Uh, yeah, our design library of parts is, is slim and needs to be restocked really badly. Mm -hmm. We've had some big kits come out of there recently. Yeah, but even so, so this is I a little think... bit rainbowy. But the real thing, as you can see in the render that we can show right now, is this beautiful, beautiful plane. Absolutely beautiful. I love the livery that we chose for this. Oh, it's so cool! The Sundowners VF one hundred and eleven. Mm -hmm. Classic. And, Classic, and it's and it's a specific plane too. It's the nineteen mm -hmm. uh, a nineteen sixty eight uh, Crusader flown off the Intrepid, mm -hmm. and it was flown by Lieutenant Nagi, and he had a MIG kill, one of the only MIG kills with a Crusader during In Vietnam. Vietnam, which is odd, given this thing's whole thing was being a gunfighter. Right, it's an interceptor, right? Right, uh, and it's, yeah, the Crusaders were famously known as the last gunfighters mm -hmm. because they ha had cannons built yep, into them. You got these 420 mils. Well, two on this side, two on the other side that we're going to get in there. Um, and historically, the Crusaders were replaced or supplanted by the F4. Mm -hmm, and the F4s didn't have guns. Initially, eventually, they were finally like, hey, we, <laughs> we've got all of these rules of engagement where we can't shoot at these guys unless we can see them. And if we can see them, we can't hit them with our missiles because <laughs> they, they're so long range. Give us a gun. So they eventually just strap a gun pod on it. Yeah. So, yeah. so um, I love this plane. I think it's a, a beautiful model. It's a great oh, yeah. historical. Uh, this is a, a Navy carrier-based fighter. Mm -hmm. uh, the Intrepid, being a World War II era right. aircraft carrier, was pretty tiny compared to what we're used to. You know, not built for originally for jets to no. launch off of. So the Intrepid went through a few revisions before it got to Vietnam, but yep. they can only carry four. So right. there was, wasn't even a full squadron of Sundowners on exactly. the Intrepid. Exactly, because they, they had some more on, what was it? The, uh, was it Shangri-La Shangri maybe? Shangri-La maybe? Yeah. But yeah, no, it's, you've got the squadron split across all these different carriers. It's bizarre. Yeah, so it's a great model. Beautiful and model. It's loaded with prints. Uh, mm -hmm. I think we've got over 70 printed parts on this thing. I, I'd have to go back and count, but I, I yeah, there's quite a few. So it's going to get cockpit, uh, the front windscreen is yeah. printed. Windscreen, your whole tail is getting this lovely printing going on it, in, uh, showing off that it is on the Intrepid. Um, and then you also get along the rudder here, which you can manipulate. Uh, it's going to be this full white, as you, could, as you saw in the renders. It's going to have this beautiful rising sun going up mm -hmm. that rudder. It's going to be fantastic. I think you're going to want to pick it up, even just for that. Yeah. So we're, we're going the full mile on this one. Oh, yeah. Really giving it it's what it deserves. Mm -hmm. Aircraft number 103, because 103. that's the plane that Nagi was flying when he shot down right, the egg. But not his plane. Right. A weird little thing we went down. <laughs> right. And uh. the USS Intrepid has, has a... Uh, Crusader painted as 102 on their deck. Right. The museum sh ship out which in is, New York City. Which is his actual plane, if I recall, but not the one he got the kill in. Correct. Yes. Right. <laughs> so, so I chose 103, and yeah. um, I'm really excited for this to come out tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to be great. Got a lot of cool little features in this thing that we've got. Comes with this non proprietary stand, but it's kind of an interesting build that you have to try and balance out. It's fairly, fairly dense and heavy, too. 
Yeah, it's um, not our sta not the standard Brickmania aircraft stand. Right, so you you need something a little more bulky to keep holding that up, especially um, from this far back in the plane. Oh yeah, no, because there's not there's a, there's a lot that's going on over this entire thing. The only space where it's not happening is mostly back here, mm -hmm. so that's really the only spot you have for a stand. Because right. this thing is loaded with features, like all those uh, the air brake works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've the, got an air brake on the bottom here that yeah. it's a little tricky to get out, but you can right there. So you've got that. Um, all got landing gears all tuck up, fold up, nice beautiful. and clean. You've got your, your flaps here, or your, I guess they're, um, they'd be more for like a uh, short takeoff and landing mm -hmm. kind of a thing. You're, you're just getting more area to work with on there. Uh, you can manipulate your control surfaces in the back as well. Mm -hmm. um, and they line up surprisingly well. He's, he's lined them up pretty well so with, it's a, the, with it's the wing a itself. Beautifully so. designed wing. Yep. Um, and there's a secret. No, a little, it's not a secret. It's but not the, so much a but secret. But the Crusaders in general had crazy variable wing yeah. style technology. It's, it's not like a variable geometry like, a, like, like an F-14, but it is variable because they can bring the whole thing up mm -hmm. like that. And it's just for like increasing and decreasing lift on takeoff and landing. Yeah. It's kind of crazy, Super which cool. I assume is also the reason why they decided to mount these sidewinders on the side of the fuselage mm -hmm. for aerodynamic purposes. Um, and speaking of, we've got these brand new AIM-9B sidewinder heads on here. They're a little older model from back in Vietnam than you would see on like our AIM-9Ls for like our more modern Tomcats and F-16s. Sure. So, so you know, thanks to camera yeah, guy, thanks for, to camera guy new, for making that work. New 3D printed parts for this. Yep. Comes um, with a figure. Mm -hmm. uh, Single figure with yep. beautiful helmet as well. Yep. With, Sunners, also with the sun, sun Sunners Sunners. helmet. Uh, that's designed by Drew. Drew's mm -hmm. back with us. Drew's and back. Helping Great out with figure, figure design. Glad to have him. And yeah, I'm excited about this. It's going to be a great kit. I think I'm going to want to go pick it up. Okay. Um, we didn't mention the refueling door, but mm. yeah, the refueling yeah. door probe opens off the side. Yep, I'll it's a little hard, show it, but a little it's hard to do cool with the uh, with the missiles on there, but that that thing does open up, and you've got a probe that swings out, yeah. and you can actually utilize it for. You can, I bet you could set up a really cool mock with that. Honestly, just having this thing like flying up and getting refueled from you, uh, we, Lord knows what. All right, so your next job to design a tanker. Oh my goodness. Nope. Okay, so let's cut over to Andrea in Italy. Because this is not the only kit dropping tomorrow. Tomorrow's a big day. This is exciting. Huge day. But the Sahariana. Sahariana. The Italian, uh, I don't know if it's an armored vehicle, but it's a gun car. Well, it's, from, a, it's, from it's a car with a big old gun on it. But Andre's expert. Let's cut to him and he'll tell you all about it. Welcome back, Greek Maniacs. Welcome back to the Italian Design Studio. Andrea here. And today we are finally revealing my new Italian kit. Lots of you have been asking for more World War II Italian stuff. And... You may know that's my aero uh, expertise per se. So, ladies and gentlemen, the brand new kit from Brickmania is the AS42 Saharina. I have developed this one first thing in 2020 and I'm so happy to finally see uh, it as a kit. The whole thing worked out on it and slammed with beautiful printing. Amanda with some amazing RDT figures and camera guy knocked it out of the park, recreating my iconic post from back in the days with a beautiful, beautiful render. So without further ado, let's go dive a little bit in the history and the design of the AS-42 Saharina. So let's take a closer look at the vehicle itself. A little bit of history first. Uh, for those of you that are not familiar with this particular vehicle, so basically the Italians had the idea of creating an, uh, a unit that would mimic uh, LRDG and SIS tactics in the desert. And w other than the extensive training that this unit uh, uh, underwent, and by the way, this unit was called the Arditi, a reminder of World War I Italian shock troops that fought in trenches. So these Arditi, Arditi company trained in tactics, uh, long-range uh, long range desert group tactics. So uh, long period of time uh, in the desert, deep behind enemy lines, and they needed a specific vehicle for that purpose. And this is what came out. So the Italians had 
out of experience with Italian trucks, they've been fighting in the desert uh, for a long, long time when World War II broke out. So lots of their uh, desert trucks were actually very, very good vehicles. And this was specifically uh, designed uh, to uh, endure long range missions in the desert while being very light and very uh, very powerful powerful engine uh, powerful armament that can that you can by the way switch you get both options both the anti-tank gun and the Breda 20 millimeter uh, anti-aircraft gun you also get one machine gun that you can place either in the front or in the back and there's space for your driver and you have seats inside as well like the real thing so uh, this is basically a three in one because in, if you see pictures of these uh, in action, you can see them both without weapons and with weapons on. So this is actually a three in one, not a two in one. So, so the, the one of the main features of this is this uh, jerry can armor. We can call it that way. Uh, so the vehicle itself could carry a lot, a lot of jerry cans to uh, expand its uh, intended range, uh, way behind. Uh, the one of every other vehicle available both in the Italian and German army they had a spare wheel in the in the front that we have printed on this one on the real thing is uh, like inside the, the hood so it's kind of not possible to do it with Lego on this, uh, on this size we have lots of tools also in the back and the rear we have printing all over the back portion of the car and you also have a brick built engine inside but uh, since uh, there is no hatches uh, I'm not gonna show you right now we have also printing on the side these were used to uh, get the vehicle out of ditches uh, or if it got uh, stuck in the sand it was very useful and most uh, World War II desert vehicle had some just in case they got in trouble with the sand so yeah, uh, the, the, the kit comes with 18 uh, 3D printed Brickmania jerry cans and it's a very iconic vehicle. The figures are amazing. They resemble the, perfectly the RDT unit that fought in North Africa and Sicily and they distinguished themselves during the campaign of Tunisia and during the Sicilian campaign for uh, bravery in action even though they never actually managed to um, uh, pl uh, to use those tactics they trained for uh, so these were mostly patrol and counter-attack vehicles and uh, ambush vehicle during the night we also have license plates printed on the front and in the back amazing work by slam on the prints uh, so yeah, this is the prototype of the Saria. Make sure to check out the renders uh, to see to see it with all the prints and uh, with the figures. So that's it from me for this week, uh, Brick Maniacs. Remember, the Saria goes live this weekend at 8 a.m. on Friday. Uh, it's gonna be for pre-order until uh, Monday. So jump on it because it's iconic, it's beautiful, it's a must-have for every North Africa mock and every uh, North Africa collection. So jump on it while you can. See you next time. All right, thank you, Andrea. Thank you, Brennan. Yeah. This is a cool plane. I love it. Yeah. Um, quick note on the uh, on the uh, build that Andrea was just showing off. So. We do have, I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily call it an upgrade, but as you know, we don't exactly do a lot of World War II Italian stuff. Mm -hmm. um, we, had, we had planned to release a World War II Italian paratrooper coming up in the future here. And because we don't offer a lot of opportunities for that, if you get in on the uh, pre-order and want to secure some of those paratroopers as well, they don't necessarily like go together other than the fact that they're both Italian. But we figured that if you're getting in on that pre-order anyways and you would want to pick up figures during the release week that it happened, why not just give you the chance to be able to secure them in your pre-order? So you can add up to four of the World War II Italian paratroopers with your pre-order if you want to secure those for when they release and, you know, swell your ranks of your Italian army. Sounds good. Yeah, yeah. nothing wrong with a little upgrade there. Yeah. Um, we've also got some stuff ready to ship, which I suppose uh, we'll, we'll have to get ready for a designer studio for the Typhoon. So you'll see Brennan again mm. back up here fairly soon because that is shipping out the door. 
which awesome. is awesome. That's a cool plane. It's a beautiful plane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Brendan did a great job on that. Yeah, really, really unique look to it. Mm -hmm. um, Type 94 truck is also getting ready to ship. <sighs> And then yeah. we've got um, the World War II uh, British Rifleman Torso and the American Civil War Union Army Torso. And then something a little special, Dan got back from uh, Brick Fair, Virginia and came back loaded with some brick arms that uh, he was able to link up with Will and, and bring back with him. So we've put them online. So they are now available for you guys to pick up. Um, quick note on them, the base color that we have is black and then there's a whole bunch of random colors, which oh. is always kind of fun. Yeah. So if you're daring, select the random option. And if you mm -hmm. want to know exactly what you're getting, just select the black option. Okay. So all of these have those have, have fun options. And then there's a couple of overmolds available as well uh, for the Bolt Rifle uh, SL and the Bolt Rifle itself. However, we're literally talking like, I think there's like nine. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, yeah, no, like when I say limited quantity, I mean like limited, limited quantity. So okay. if you want to get in on those overmolds, those will be available too. Do you know what these are from? We were kind of guessing, Devin thought that maybe these were Call of Duty because the Val was popular in Call of Duty, and then I thought maybe these kind of looked like Warhammer-esque. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. Yeah, bold. But they look cool, so Good looking. Okay. go ahead and use them for whatever you please. That's the, that's well, the fun creative leave, part Leave a of comment down below to tell us what they're from. Yeah, to tell us what they are. <laughs> okay. Tell us what we're showing off. <laughs> I should know, I don't know. <laughs> um, the Super Stallion is back on pre-order on Monday. You guys just Ooh. wrapped up a designer studio for that, right? Correct, we did. And the printing is completely wrapped up on that. Everybody got their custom numbers and squadron units. That was a slog for me, for me and the print guys. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's back. We're going to do another another pre-order for a restock. Correct, know? correct. And, and no custom printing. No, nope, the custom day. printing was only available if you got in on the initial batch. So yep. that's why you gotta you got to jump on those yeah. early in the weekend, right? Um, the other one back is the UH-1B Huey. Uh, that's the gunship. That'll be back on pre-order as well. Super fun. That's an awesome kit. Mm -hmm. um, and then we've got some stuff getting ready to ship too, including the Space Rocket. The Brickmania Classic Series Space Rocket, which oh. came out, I think, at, at some point when uh, I wasn't around. But uh, I, Andreas kit? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's like a the, cool little build. It is a cool little build. Yeah, yeah. It, it totally, it totally kind of looks similar to, to some other classic space stuff that you see out there, but kind of with a Brickmania twist on it, which is cool to see. Okay. Um, so that is just a drop. That is that is getting ready to ship. The only pre-order that's now ready to ship is the uh, the classic series Tiger One. I think there might still be a couple of those left, but there was a pre-order, so there'll be there'll be fewer. Um, but again, the Space Rocket is shipping the. 37 millimeter gun, the M3, that's the American anti-tank gun, also classic series, that shipping. Um, the Type 90, 75 millimeter Japanese field gun, classic series again, is, is shipping. Um, the Black Ops Squad Pack Part 1 was pre-ordered, but is now getting ready to ship, so there might be some, some copies of that available. Both the uh, U.S. Army and U.S. Marine riflemen are back. Um, the classic series World War II U.S. Army Rifleman is back. The classic series German Heer Rifleman is back. And the classic series uh, Japanese Rifleman is back. So huge minifig Monday. That's huge. Yeah, that's uh, awesome. And to some see. great Army Builder figures in that batch. So yeah, get on it. Yeah, if you're yeah. getting ready to, to do some building, make some mocks, or head to one of the many, many shows that Dan will be attending coming up in August. I think he's got one every single weekend. He said five shows in seven weeks. Mm -hmm. This one's in Tampa. Next week, Sioux Falls. After that, my brain goes a little blank. But he's going to be all over the place, so check out that events page because that's, uh, that's where you'll find out where it is. It is Lego show season, as it turns out. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Okay. Definitely. So, And then stay tuned for more information about the Virginia... Uh, capital celebration, the capital store celebration as we get ready to do that anniversary. You'll be making an awesome brick, I'm sure. Sure, yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, have, yep. You always hit those out of the park. I, They're I so am fun just to now thinking about that for the first time. Like, <laughs> I will have to do that. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll pull out all the stops for that, probably build a rando, all that kind of fun stuff you expect from those anniversary events. So stay tuned for more information there. Otherwise, cool. Thanks for watching. All right, we'll see you next time.